Greetings and welcome. I'm Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you're doing well. I'm forever guided by spirit. Trigger warning, the subject matter is of a mature nature and deals with true crime events. Disclaimer, all cases are treated as alleged until proven in a court of law. So quite an interesting case popped up on my dashboard of Zadie, who unfortunately was three years old at the time of her passing from septicemia. And um, of course, there is wider concern. Um, there are several other children that have died recently related to the same facility. Bromfield, there may be other facilities, uh, but the common situation is that children who have been operated on um, are dying after their supposed care. So we're going to look at Zadie, Zadie's case. I'm going to include a profile on the NHS. This is in the UK. NHS. So let me explain. NHS, if you don't know, is the main body. Then NHS Mid and South Essex governs or manages this hospital, which is the Broomfield University Hospital. So we'll have a look at their numbers and then we'll have a look at Zadie's situation and look at the 369. So very concerning that you die in a facility or you get sent home or you die in a facility with septicemia. I mean, we've heard lots of stories unrelated, um, having worked in the TV content space and also a particular focus on uh, medical malpractice. Um, you know, it became a common thing to leave um, instruments after surgery within the body still. And if, if infection after surgery or supposed medication, then we've got problems, right? So let's start with the NHS, the National Health System. Born July the 5th, 1948. So let's have a look. We got the 7, 5 and the 12, 3. So the 5, we can say, yes, um, humans have issues and that's why they arrive at the reception of hospitals. So there's the issue. Um, 7 is not necessarily a full-blown medical, but more of a service uh, facility. Um, 22.4, now you may have recalled in many or several episodes, 22.4, the 22.4 speaks about the medical facility. As we saw, uh, which popped up in the, was present in the Claudia Lawrence case, missing case. And I believe, uh, I may have said it in the video, I believe that is where, or linked to the crime. Um, so that's 22.4. Now we've got the 12.3. So the 12.3 also speaks about administration, processes, procedures. Um, 34.7, 24.7. Um, you know, I know this is not technically the medical hospital where you're going, but it's more the overbody. Um, it doesn't really ping good on me. There's, there's not enough medical numbers here. Um, it's more about systems. Um, funneling people into systems and 16.7 could be surveillance as well NHS Mid and South Essex who the NHS Foundation Trust who manage the hospital uh, born April 1 the 4 1 2020 the 4 5 4 9 so in this case 
Um, very the, so the four is all your medical numbers, right? Four. It also speaks about processes and procedures, operations, the difficulties they go through in the day. With the outcome nine, all about life and death. So in this example, the this foundational trust has more medical numbers than the NHS, right? So then we go to Broomfield University Hospital. Um, founding dates October 18, 1996. I beg your pardon, uh, for the Bromfield Hospital, I uh, beg your pardon, it was originally established in 1937, or let's say by, from 1937 to 1940, it was being built to cater for the TB pandemic. Okay. The reason why I used this date is because there's no listed, um, there's only a founding year, which ironically is a five, all the bullshit. So what I did was there's a, on their website, there is a sequence calendar events that have happened there. So all I did was I took a significant one, 1996, 18th of October, sees Prime Minister John Major undertaking the topping out ceremony. So I would imagine that's quite important, so significant day. So I just tapped into that source, if you will. It was randomly selected. That's the one that stood out to me. So we see the 10-1 masses, casualties, masses, 18-9, that is the operational elements. Um, so here's all their functions, if you like. 28, 10, 1, 19, 10, 1. It's a pity, um, and I know this goes without saying, that the medical care and attention comes down to money. Uh, if you don't have medical support or medical aid or whatever you have in your territory, um, life can be very difficult. And particularly when you can't take care of um, medical needs and leave it and leave it and leave it, right? Always about the bottom dollar or euro or pound. Uh, 25.7... See, it's related, yeah, so they, they've also got procedures, yeah. So let's just do a ping pong, yeah. Uh, 25-7. Um, 44-8 is about operations, procedures, high-level um, operations. These are all good uh, engineering, mostly engineering type numbers. So very much catered for, I would imagine, um, operational level, high level of equipment, um, the serious stuff, right? All right, let's have a look here. Zadie arrives at the hospital on November the 11th, 2022. So let's zoom in there. Again, we see this double 11, 11 2 situation. I believe that was similar in the Kuberger case, the Idaho 4 case. Um, it's amazing how numbers peak up. Huh? So, what are we talking about here? We're talking about law and processes, contracts, agreements. Um, so, in the latest news that I saw today, um, the procedures and the processes that need to be followed. So in other words, when Zadie gets into the hospital, they, and with the report of issues after a surgery or a, um, a visit at the hospital, they immediately go, they should go into a septicemia process. 
that is the issue currently that the hospital did not follow procedures. Yeah, they are here. And they got a five in the middle. So, you know, with their backs against the wall, all the bullshit's going to come out from them as well, right? Defending themselves till the nth degree. And then there are children dying at their reception offices. Yeah, we see the death of a child, 13-4. What is the issue? Hidden 22.4. So was there an issue having to come back? I've heard before from people in the UK. It's um, There's a long waiting list to get into these facilities. The procedures are difficult. Let me know in the comments if uh, what your experience is of the NHS. Um, I'm, I've obviously never experienced being in South Africa. But we got this hidden 22.4. which is um, on one level, the facility. The facility itself. And now hidden issue. 22.4 on the NHS. Why is there a hidden issue? Um, we may need to look at the build up here. Does that mean did they struggle to get an appointment or something? Or is it a or can you walk into the hospital and see someone? So look at these numbers here. 281, 1910 1, 10 1. I beg your pardon, let me just uh, check something quickly. But we see here a 28. 10 1 19 10 1 there, there. now let's for a moment okay let's just finish here the the outcome of the day when Zadie arrives at the hospital ends with a 10 one, one Cause of death, money. Cause of death, processes. How do you get to see a doctor in the NHS system? Gorgeous smile. Let's take a look at the three days leading up because on November the 8th, we've got a problem here. Why is there a 1910 one in the middle of the day when a child, I almost want to say infant, toddler, um, is in duress? Here's the poison number here, 167, septicemia, 167. Septicemia, 16-7. The kid's in distress. But blocking is a 19-10-1. Do we see it here? 19-10-1. Let's stay on the 19-10-1 because we're going to follow the money, right? So the day she gets rushed to hospital and passes... Here are the plus three, plus six, plus nine. Again, 19, 10, 1. If it wasn't for money, she would have lived one. And the system of it, the system of it, and the legalities and processes around it. So when we go to the plus nine, and I'm sorry to say, we have a 31-4 year. Effectively, she was in trouble already. Yeah. Look at these numbers here. 27 9, 18, 9, 9. The, the day before she's brought to hospital, she's in trouble.
Oh, hold on. At the plus nine. <laughs> At the plus nine. Thirty-seven ten one. Let's ask the idiot behind the desk if we can save a child's life. Let's get permission. Oh, when we ask for permission, there's a blowout. Why? Because there's processes and procedures to follow. 28.10.1 There's a blowout on the day. Why? Because of processes and procedures and money. Had she um, been able to get to the hospital the day before, they may have saved her. Pigs. The pigs. When does health become less important? And we'll funnel you in like cattle when we see fit to do so. See so the plus three. We've got a fourteen five. Human interference. Human interference therefore has caused the septicemia, creates the death. No time at the facility. Sorry. Please uh, call again next week and uh, make your booking. Okay. By the time she gets to the facility, she has already passed, or she's passed, or she's passing, she passes. And four, from a simple procedure, a simple procedure, when the kid enters the uh, reception, do one, two, three, because these are the protocols we follow. Simple procedure governed by processes, legal rhetoric, and money. How disgusting. Well, let's hope they get what's coming to them. And that justice may be served for Zadie and all the other kids that have passed in the, in the recent years here. For the same reason, sis. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's a bit of a look into malpractice, medical malpractice. Please leave your thoughts and comments if you've had, uh, or just give us a sense of what the NHS system is like if you use it. And uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay alert. Bye for now.